So where can you apply for an online teaching job? That's a good question. There's a lot of different places that you can apply to and a lot of different types of jobs that you can apply to. So let's talk about the different type of jobs that you can teach with online. I've got this video um, split up between categories of ESL companies you could teach with, um, marketplaces you could teach with, as well as tutoring companies that you can teach with. So let's talk about where you can actually tutor online now in 2022. Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Lena and um, my channel is all about helping other people to build their online teaching career. I've been teaching online now for a few years and I just like to share my experiences with other teachers who might be interested in starting out on teaching with teaching or who are teaching and just want to keep, you know, learning and hearing, you know, what's helping me so that they can grow their online teaching career too. So if you are interested in information like that, I put out videos each week. So, you know, if you're not already subscribed, then please subscribe. But I am going to be talking about these companies that you can teach with. Um, I recently did a video about how a lot of teachers were moving from the brick and mortar school and trying to find out what they were going to do next. And some teachers might be interested in teaching online. So um, this could help people to make a decision of where they can go and what they could do as a next step. Okay, so I have divided several companies into categories to help teachers make an informed decision. And I will be giving information about each of these companies too, as much as I was able to find. And so I will cover um, what the requirements are for these companies, um, how much you can expect to get paid with these companies, um, the type of students that you'll have with these companies, um, if they will have curriculum or not provided for you, and um, what the hours are like. So those are things that you can get from the different companies that I have and either they are ESL companies, marketplaces, um, where you can offer your class, you know, designed and ready for people to buy into your class or uh, a tutoring place, a tutoring company where you tutor students. So let's get into ESL companies that are hiring now and these companies are not companies that are teaching the kids in China. Okay, just because China has changed their regulations and, you know, rules about teachers who can teach in China. So these are companies that teach outside of China. All right, our first company is Cambly. I love Cambly. <laughs> Um, I talk about Cambly a lot. It is a great place for people to start teaching with, um, although getting hired with them can sometimes take a while, but if you're able to get in with them, they are a good company to work with. Um, I have gone, I've, I will have each of the web pages for you to see, and here we can look on their web page and we see that um, they are offering about 10 to $12 an hour, depending on if you're gonna teach with Cambly or Cambly Kids. Cambly teaches to adults and kids, but Cambly Kids teaches to children, obviously. And with that, with Cambly Kids, um, you do have to do a separate set of videos for the hiring process. Um, but, um, like I said, I will be talking about the requirements. So the requirements for Cambly Kids are, or Cambly and Cambly Kids, is that you really don't need to have a bachelor's degree. That's great to know about Cambly Kids. You don't need a bachelor's degree. You don't need a, um, a ESL certificate like a TESOL or a TEFL. Uh, although you can list this in your profile once you're hired, and it does make you look more attractive to students, but you don't you don't need one, it's not required to get hired. Um, you can teach around the clock with Cambly. So there are no, um, there's there's no end to when you can teach, it's 24 hour classes, and there's no minimum in the amount of, or no minimum in the amount of classes or hours that you need to teach. So some, some companies will say you have to have a minimum of like 10 hours scheduled each week. No, not with Cambly, there's no minimum hours. And, um, the curriculum is, for Cambly, you don't necessarily need curriculum, but um, you can use 
curriculum that they have offered. You can use it in your classes if you need it. But for Cambly Kids, you are given curriculum to use. But they're very kind of laid back in how you how they um, handle their classes. So if a student doesn't really want to go through all of the material or if you feel like it's not appropriate um, or age appropriate for them, you can make you can adjust the lessons as needed. Next on our list is Ngu. Ngu um, is similar to Cambly, I, I feel like. I feel like um, they're similar to Cambly because you are um, teaching a lot of adults and it's not, it is, it is very flexible in their hours. Um, they have, they do have 24 hour teaching um, where you can set your schedule for 20, you know, any, any time in that 24 hour period. And there's no minimum hours that you need to offer. Um, their pay is, about eight dollars an hour but it's based upon your region you know um so i can't give an exact amount that they will offer you as a tutor um and the the two the students as i said they are adults but you can also teach kids too um, and they do have curriculum that is provided for you so they are a stress-free teaching experience, as it says here. <laughs> um, stress-free, you can connect with the world, many students from different cultures. That's one of the things I love about teaching ESL online. You get to hear um, so many, hear from so many students from so many different places around the world. So here is a little bit of the process that they offer on, on their website. And right here are the requirements that they have listed. And of course, you need a headset, webcam, laptop, de or a desktop, and high-speed internet connection. Next on our list is italki. Italki has two different types of teachers. You can have, um, you could be a community teacher or a professional teacher. So a community teacher, basically you don't really need to have a um, degree or ESL certificate. Um, you are basically just helping people to practice their English. Um, so yeah, the requirements are a little bit less. Here it says, how do, I, how do I become a professional teacher? So the professional teacher is the other type of teacher that is that you can be, and they have a few more requirements. So in order to be an, a, a professional teacher, they do give you some lists of things that are acceptable for uh, your doc documents. Uh, you can have a language teaching certificate and university degree in a language teaching in, la in language teaching uh, teaching license or proof of employment at a language teaching institution so these are things that you would need to show proof of if you want to teach with italki um, they do say that you will set your own hours with italki you'll set your own hours and you will um, teach to adults and the curriculum, I believe, is something that you are actually given for a professional teacher. Usually when you are given needing to have a you know, certain uh, degree in order to teach, that means that they do want to give you curriculum that you are going to be responsible for, for going through. So um, I believe they will provide those that for you, but I'm not exactly 100% sure, but, but I believe they'll provide it for you. Um, you do need to be a native or near native speaker in order to be either a community teacher or professional teacher with italki. And yeah, next on our list is iTutor Group. iTutor Group is one of the oldest ESL companies around and they are still around. So good for them. Um, iTutor Group will accept people who have a idiomatic level of English, they said. So that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to be a na native English speaker, but you need to have idiomatic. So it's kind of like you're speaking at a natural native level. So yeah. <laughs> so also you need to have a bachelor's degree uh, in order to work with them. You need to have a TESOL or a TEFL or some type of ESL certificate. And um, you need to have, they, they say it's, it's preferred to have 
uh, teaching experience, it's preferred, and a commitment of six hours per week. So yeah, you do need to have six peak hours per week in order to teach with them. Um, they do give you curriculum for your classes and you will be teaching to adults and to kids and you do not have a choice in the matter. So they kind of like, they schedule the classes and you will see what you get. So that's kind of how it works with iTutor Group. And the pay is different for adults and kids. So um, the, the, the adult classes are, are more like seven to $10 an hour and the, the children's classes are um, a little bit more um, it used to be about $14 an hour, but it might have changed a little bit since then. But that gives you, a, gives you an idea. So Latin Hire is next on our list. I wish I had more information for them, but it was kind of hard to find. But on their website, um, you will see that at the bottom it says, do I need to submit any special documentation to apply? It says you don't need to submit any documentation in your initial application. Later on, if you qualify for more of our online work opportunities, you may need to submit proof of your academic achievements and you may need to go through a criminal background check. So yeah, I don't know the exact qualifications for Latin Hire. I do know that they teach to adults. And from what I heard, their pay was decent you know, maybe above like $15 an hour. But like I said, it was really hard to find information. So you're gonna have to find, do some research on your own for Latin Hire. Native Camp is our next one. So here you'll see, um, looks pretty interesting. Here are the requirements. You need to be at least 18 years old. Uh, teaching experience is not required, it says here. Now I have seen other places where it does say you do need teaching experience, but I don't know. But then it says training and teaching materials are always available. So maybe that means that they'll train you if you have no experience, <laughs> right? And then um, they will offer you about $9 per 25-minute class. So that's about $18 an hour. And then you will get uh, bonuses with that. So that's nice. And, and it is 24-hour teaching, all right um, so that's very nice 24-hour teaching flexible hours no minimum and um, they do have bonuses too so that's a very nice company it sounds like to work for um, students are adults and uh, the curriculum is available but not required so um, I think that they will give you what you need in order to get through your classes but you are not going to be needing to create your own materials. Online Kids Academy is next. Uh, I love how when you open it up, it says we hire American, South African, Canadian, and Filipino teachers. So there you have it. <laughs> um, there, it's good to know that their, their students are going to be like in Turkey. I know a lot of them are in Turkey, so that kind of gives you an idea of what time frame you're going to be teaching. Uh, um, with students who are in Turkey and they have flexible schedules you don't have need to have a minimum uh, number of hours available you set your own schedule so that's really nice they provide lesson materials for you and they bait they give you your pay based upon your interview and performance so um, they consider your experience that's nice um, obviously you're teaching the kids so yeah if you are interested in teaching the kids then you have online kids academy next we're going to get into marketplaces and like i said before marketplaces are places where you will design your classes and offer your classes for students to come and purchase them and as you are also setting the prices for your classes too so that's nice you're setting your own schedule right you are setting your own schedule and um the types of classes are unlimited <laughs> well I should say they are outside of just teaching English so these are marketplaces and so the first one we're gonna look at all school now all school and out school are about the same all school are is a newer company out school has been around for a longer period of time um, and that's who I work with 
Um, but All School, they they are a newer company, but they are very similar to Out School. So I'm going to talk about these two together. Um, but you basically, when you apply, you do not need to have a bachelor's degree. Um, but you do need to have a passion for the subject that it is that you are wanting to teach for. A passion, experience, right? We need to show that you are knowledgeable in this area. And um, they have two, for all school, they have two different types of teachers. You can have, um, you can have a, be a teacher who designs their own lesson, or you could be a teacher who uses the content that they offer you. They have lessons that they offer that you can teach from. So you can have two different, you have two different options there. Um, and um, all, OutSchool is very similar to this too. OutSchool is, um, you can have your own material, but also um, they do have it where you can join an organization and in an, or, in an organization, usually they have curriculum that is offered for you to teach. So you do have that option with OutSchool also. The hours for teaching with OutSchool and all, all School are pretty much around the clock. You're teaching to kids who are going to be outside or all around the world, not just in one location. So you have very flexible hours. And Amazing Talker is the next one. Amazing Talker, you are teaching to adults and you are designing your own class. You're offering your class and people can sign up with you. And um, so you are also designing your price too. So it says that tutors are making up to 7,000 a month. Okay, so that's all up to you. I do know that starting out, you're kind of starting out on the lower end and you have to kind of build up your clientele and work up to the amounts that the higher more experienced tutors are are um, making so yeah it is a process some more things to know about them um, they do want you to have experience um, to work with them you do need to have experience and you're fluent in English usually that's the case <laughs> and you have uh, teaching experience you want to be your own boss and you're passionate about teaching yes so that is amazing talker and then there's hello so hello is i love how they describe their teachers as influencers. So you are a teacher influencer, says so become a Hello influencer. <laughs> so this means that you are going to be conducting live streams, live classes, and one-on-one -on -one classes. So you are, you know, they, they, they are very social based. So in these social, social live streams, um, students can come and they can learn from you and they can also pay to engage with you too. So there's more than one way to make money with Hello. Um, I do know that you you can make your base pay is about eighteen dollars an hour, but it can go up from there. And their classes are twenty four hours a day, um, so you they're very flexible. Um, these are two adults, right? And um, the curriculum is based upon the teacher, so the teacher decides what's going to be taught for the classes. So you are in charge. <laughs> Whether it's teaching a class or coming up with a topic to talk about, that is your, you know, it's up to you. So that is Hello. All right, so the last category are tutoring companies. So let's talk about those. All right, so first is Latera. Latera, um, you can go on their website and they have different types of tutoring positions. So with a tutoring company, you're not going to just have like a set job. You're going, there's going to be different subjects and, you know, um, different needs. So every need is going to have different requirements. So you kind of just have to go and look and see what the requirements are for that position. But um, most of the requirements are not going to be too different, right? I mean, like here it says, um, at least one year of experience working with students in some capacity, a previous online tutoring experience, and or a bachelor's degree is preferred. 
Um, this one says experience, experience specifically working with at least one of the grades K through five. Um, college students are welcome to apply. That's good to know. With one year of relevant experience. Um, effective communication and interpersonal skills. Um, ability to effectively instruct and manage students. Reside in the continental, continental United States, Alaska, or Hawaii. And must have a computer, obviously. So, yeah. So those are just some things you're going to expect to see. And here down at the bottom it says the rate of pay is $17 an hour. I did see another one that was $15 an hour. So that gives you an idea of what you can expect to get paid with their types of jobs and they're they're pretty much they're they're very very um similar in what they're asking for tutoring gigs is another tutoring company so first you have to choose your subject and pass our qualification exam then um to step two accept jobs based on your availability we'll notify you when a tutoring gig that matches your qualifications is scheduled so they'll match you up with a tutoring job you're not actually applying to a specific job they're matching you and then you get paid for your weekly tutoring sessions and down here it says you get $20 an hour based on your tutoring gigs. Okay, so it's pretty much a standard rate of pay for whatever they match you with. All right, and I'm, I'm assuming that you're gonna need to have at least bachelor's degree. You might, you might be able to be a, stu a college student as with the other one. Oh, here we go, here we have some more. Um, do you accept college students? Yes, we accept college students. Hey, okay. um, I am based outside of the U.S. Can I tutor? Not at this time. Is it open to non-U.S. citizens? You must be legally permitted to work in the U.S. You can work up to 40 hours. Doesn't say how many hours you will get or how many uh, minimum hours you'll have. Um, how soon can I start? Application process will take about 45 minutes to complete. It takes one or two business days for a background check. After these steps, you can start immediately. Mm -hmm. So then they have to match you up. <laughs> what are the office hours? Uh, well, the office hours might not be when you necessarily tutor, but they say 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. What subjects do I need to tutor? We offer a math second to ninth grade algebra, English, and bilingual Spanish. So that gives you a little bit more information. Oh, here, do I need, a cr need to create a lesson? Lessons are already created for you and you just need to download and review it before the session. Good to know. All right, so that's some basic information about, about uh, tutoring gigs. One last one that I wanted to um, offer was Amplify. Amplify, I had a hard time really finding like a good landing page for them, but I have heard some really good things about Amplify um, from you know people online who are actually working with them. So um, I know that they're hiring tut tutors uh, and their tutors are making decent money, at least $20 an hour. Um, and some tutors are tutoring math. Um, and I believe history too. So that's something to look into. You can look, do a little research to find Amplify. But sorry, I did not have a landing page for you for um, to show you for Amplify. But those are the companies that I have um, done some research for. Now, there are more companies to apply to. Those are just a few that I know about that are hiring now um, that people have said positive things about. And um, so I thought they were most helpful at this point. Uh, I will leave the information for these companies in my description box. And also I do have another list that has other companies that I did not mention on, on this um, video. So, you know, if you're interested in that list, there is a link for that too. So I do have, I do have all the links for the companies that I talked about in this video in the description box. But then I have a list that you have to press on the link in order to get that list of all the companies that I have done my research and trying to find 
and putting them onto my list. Now, whether or not they're hiring right now or not, right now or not, I can't say for sure, but I put them on my list just because I'm trying to accumulate lists of places that people can apply to that are looking for teachers at some time. Maybe not now, but at some time. So that is the information I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Um, if you found that this information was helpful at all, please give this video a like. And um, yeah, let me know your comments about these companies. Help us know what you know about them. If you have something else to add, you could please do that for us too. So we can, commu we can keep communicating with each other, helping each other out and um, forming our community for other teachers to benefit from. So thanks for watching y'all. Have a great afternoon or a great day. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye for now.